specialised lighting. Um, right. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day, but you get fed up with having egg, bacon and tomatoes all the time, don't you? Poached eggs, fried eggs, bacon, ham and eggs, pan yang, pickle, tinned tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. I'm not a great person for eating cereals, and omelettes I'm hot and cold on, apart from this one. This is a version of a thing called Omelette Arnold Bennett. Now that sounds flash that, doesn't it? But I think it was a geezer called Arnold Bennett, something to do with racing. Do you know who Arnold Bennett is? Gone out. Um, anyway, he went to a hotel and said, I want my own omelette. So rather like a Waldorf salad, this is omelette, arm thingy, was a flala bit as well. So what it is, it's a fishy omelette, really. It's in my book as a fishy omelette. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a um, bit of cream, some milk to poach the, uh, the fish in, some eggs we're going to whisk up, uh, parmesan cheese, a bit of parsley, some knobs, knobs, and of course this piece of fish. So what you need to do is get the grill on because although you're gonna make an omelet, you're gonna actually grill this as well. So normal omelet techniques, add a bit of water, get us a little cup of water, can you Mitch? Um, I, don't know, I don't quite know the difference between single cream and double cream. So if you're using single cream, put it in twice. Oh, oh okay. my God. What? I'm supposed to be a comedian. <laughs> Right, we've got some water in there. I'm going to pour this milk, milk and water. Normally they say put bay leaves in it and all other shit, but really, to this day, I've no idea what a bay leaf does, apart from come and repossess your car. It's crazy. Right, so here's a bit of fish. This it is smoked haddock. And we're going to put it in and gently poach it until it becomes flaky. I normally know when it's done when you lift it up and it starts going for a lot of it. If, it's, if the tail's sticking out of the water, like that is a bit, we'll fold it in a little bit, like that. Okay, so we're going to let that gently simmer. In the meantime, let's whisk up some eggs. Don't forget, you've got to pull your whisking face when you make this stuff. There you go. So this is for about two small portions. This is, really. So, there you go. So a little bit of water. Remember, water for omelettes, milk for a scrambled egg. And a little bit of seasoning. I use uh, sea salt, because if you can always see it. I know, it's pulling, isn't it? Here we go then, mum's face. until the old uh, fish starts to cook. Right, let's have a look at this Lillian Gish, as we think. So, off of the heat. The grill's nice and hot. Here's the plate. Move it away forever. You can make a fishy milkshake out of that. And here's what we're going to do now. We're just going to take the chunks out. Don't shred it up. You know, I don't like the skin, do you? Yuck. So we take that off and put the nice chunks in here. It's beautifully cooked. It smells delicious. I'm really hungry. There you go. And be careful. What's the rhyme we learnt as kids? Hocus pocus. Fish bones choke us. Yeah. There you go. We can give some of this to the cat. We haven't got a cat. Spoils everything, doesn't it? Okay then, so let's uh, let's start to make our omelette. We've got that lovely fish there. We're gonna grate some cheese here. There you go. This is parmesan. It's lovely, isn't it? It really is furry and gorgeous. And we've got our cream. Right, so what we do, just do an omelette normal. So a nice hot pan. Get the butter. 
French butter in the English wrapper. It'd be good if you could just eat all that. Now that James Martin, that chef, he's one of my favourite chefs. And uh, he uses tons and tons of butter. He doesn't get all that fat. He's not quite as fat as that bloke on Sky News. You've been watching him. What's his name, that geezer? What's that bloke's name on Sky News? Adam Bolton. He's starting to look a bit cartoon character, isn't he? He looks like someone has stuck a pump up his arse and inflated Jack D. He looks a bit Jack D. Jack D, fat, older, baldy brother. Uh, yeah, you don't like me either, so it doesn't matter. Right, let's get these knobs in here. Couple of knobs. I don't know what I do with me. Uh, what do I do on this with? I can't remember. Wooden spoon will do. Okay, so that in there. Get that nice and uh, foamy. Don't want it to burn. Turn the flow up down. A little bit. And then in we go with the mixture. Just like any other omelet. Okay then, back of the spoon isn't it for a moment. You don't want it scrambled egg, so you've got to let it set a bit. Make a hole and fill it in. And there. So we just let that cook for a bit. Brilliant, isn't it, Queen? What do you reckon the bloke who first milked the cow thought he was doing? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I know I'm going to be locked up. Right, so omelette, I'm not Here it comes. It's nice and runny on there now. I don't want that flipped over, so I'll flip that bit back. We don't want it flipped, it flips. So back of the fork, get it back. Here's your omelette. Right, so now we're going to sprinkle this fish on it. Okay, I washed my hands a couple of months ago. Be all right. Watch for the. This is your last chance for the any of the tadpole skin, and for don't forget, hocus pocus, fish bones chokers. And just when that's not sickly enough, we're going to add. And double cream. Now, if it's up to you how much you use, I don't particularly like too much of this stuff. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? Look at that. I'll show you in a minute. I'll put plenty. Oh, who cares? Okay, so we're going to put plenty of that on there, and then we're going to sprinkle this lovely parmesan all over it. So you're basically making an eggy pizza. Really? Is that enough parmesan? A bit more there. Okay, I'm going to pop it under the grill. Just to brown that off. Good, isn't it? Right, here we go. Let's have a look. There. A little bit of that. Is that okay? Is that looking alright? Just a little bit. Two seconds. Two more seconds under there. This is so easy to do, and I know it seems a bit flash, and, but it's fun. It is fun. Cooking's good fun, isn't it? Uh, so now, we serve it up with this nice green shit, which is uh, spinach and watercress. Need some nice crispy bacon and chips with it, really. Now, let's have a look. So, I'll get a plate ready. And stick it on. Now, you can either serve this straight up like this, or you can flip it in half. You just flip it over and make like a proper omelette with it. So the insides are a bit of a secret. But let's just pour that out on there instead. And there you have. Omelette Arnold Bennett. Oh, that's the bollocks, that is. Put a bit of pepper on that. Marvellous bit of chilli oil. 
Sam Snelling's watching. Smother it in tomato sauce. Ah, hi folks, this is your Prime Minister. Never mind those boring briefings about COVID or, or Brexit. Fantastic question. One I don't know the answer to. If you go into a bank now without a mask on, the alarms go off. Whereas in the old days, if you went in with a mask, the uh, alarm would go off and the police would come in. Well, thank you for that question, asshole. I mean, Theresa May was the sort of woman, or is the sort of woman, who would go into DFS, DFS, on a bank holiday Monday, and come out having paid full price for a sofa. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. I mean, who'd have this job? Really, everything's my fault, is it? It's my fault about the, the waspy women. I had nothing to do with it. I mean, what, how, 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 what, I don't even know how I got, I came out for a bag of bloody sugar, but I, I seem to get the blame for everything. I mean, it's just not fair.